Hello fourth grade and welcome to painting with Miss Persia. So today's painting is going to be an image of the cross with a pretty sunset in the background um, just as a way to kind of represent what we are honoring on Good Friday. So I happen to find some acrylic paint in my house so that's what I will be using today to create my picture um, but you are also able to use whatever materials you might have. You can draw with crayons, you can use um, markers, you can use paint, uh, watercolor paint, whatever kind of paint. Um, so you can get very creative with this. Um, but I'm going to show you how to paint this cross with the pretty sunset image in the background. The materials that I have in front of me are a glass of water to rinse off my paint brushes. I also have two paint brushes, one's a little thicker, one's a little thinner, just in case I want to add a type of, to make it easier for me to paint. I have a paper towel so that when I dip my paintbrushes in the water, I can dab them on my napkin, get the colors out. And then I have my paper plate with some colors on it, and the colors that I have are black, yellow, uh, kind of an orangish red, and then a deeper red color, and of course some white because you always need a little bit of white when you're painting. Okay, so to start I'm going to use my bigger paintbrush because I'm going to start by painting the sunset in the background. So I'm going to take some yellow, I'm going to draw kind of a line in the back to show where I want it to start. So I'll draw it like about three quarters of the way. And I'm going to make it kind of like a U-E shape, an upside down U shape, because I want to make like a hill for when I make the crucifix. So I'm going to go ahead, make sure I have enough paint on there. So when Jesus died, it was about mid-afternoon, around three o'clock. So the sun is kind of up in the sky and um, it's starting to make its way down, I would say, as, as the afternoon continues on, late afternoon. Um, I'm going to add in some orange color up here, which I'll make into a faded color as we go. Some orange. Hmm, it's very burnt orange. Keep brushing it along there. I'm going to want to kind of combine these two colors as I keep going. Okay. And there we go. Now I'm going to add this deeper red color to the top of my painting. Ooh, that's like a deep red. It's pretty. And as I get to the very top, I think I'm going to try to add like a grayish black color because I want it to look um, kind of like solemn, you know, because it is a sad day that we're honoring on Good Friday. It's the day of Jesus's death and crucifixion. So I want to make sure that I keep that kind of mood in this picture. Okay, so I have my three colors on there right now. So now I'm going to kind of try to blend them together. Let me clean this off just so that I can get a fresh, fresh color going. It's always fun to see what color your paint water turns. All right, let me dab that off, dry it off a little bit. All right, so first I'm going to kind of combine these two colors, the yellow and the orange. So let's see here. I guess I'll try to mix the colors together a little bit and create another color so that I can, there we go. So that I can kind of form, see there's a lighter orange now, it's kind of nice. And then I'll do another shade that's like a, more of a yellow color to connect it with that. Oh, this looks so nice. Okay, get that lighter orange in there, you can kind of see the different tones. I'm going to dab this off again. And then we're going to do a lighter yellow color which I'll mix my yellow with the white to get that. Oh, and some of the orange. Okay, there we go. Nice, that looks very pretty. I'm sure you're doing a great job over there as you follow along. Okay, there we go. So I have these two colors kind of meshed together in this painting. Now I'm going to combine my orange and my red colors together. So, let's see. Woo! Throwing my paintbrush. 
orange and red. I'm going to combine the two colors and mix them together to see what kind of color I can come up with. And I'll kind of paint that on there. You can see it's more of a, a deeper red and orangey color. Okay. And then I'm going to do some more of this orange with maybe a little bit of white just to fill in my space here. Nice. Okay. Let me just finish that section. All right. Wow, the sky is actually looking really pretty. Did not expect it to look like this. Wow, okay. All right, I think that's pretty good there. Now I'm going to get my top part done because then I'm going to start using the black for the rest of it. So if I look at the top here, I'm going to kind of want this red to fade into a sort of a gray color to kind of have some gray skies up above. So I think I'm going to take the red and kind of mush it with some black. Get and Black, you only want a little bit because it's really... It's really hard to get a color other than black when you mix the black. So this color is kind of a deeper red. Ooh, that looks pretty cool. So we'll paint that in there. And this is like our background that we're doing right now, right? So we'll paint the crosses over this. It's nice when you use acrylic paint because it dries pretty fast. All right. Ooh. My canvas is ooh, coming up. <laughs> All right, then I think we're gonna just make the top part of that, the rest of it, a gray color. So I'm gonna take my black and mix it in with my white and see what I can come up with. Ooh, yes, that looks very nice. It's like a silvery gray. And I'll kind of make it look like clouds is what I'm thinking. Kind of make it in the top, I'll swirl it in circular motions so that I can kind of get that cloudy effect. Right. Do a little bit more. Okay. Ooh, I love it. This is so cool. It's amazing what you can come up with when you're just using your imagination, right, fourth grade? All right. Wow, that looks gloomy, all right, doesn't it? But not too gloomy, right? It looks gloomy, but then it also looks beautiful as well, which is important. Okay. So Next steps are to make our black silhouette outline. Now I feel like I made it a little bit too big of a space down here, so I think I'm going to add a little bit more yellow um, at the bottom here. Let me just rinse off my paintbrush. But this looks nice. I'm doing well, fourth grade. All right, let's see here. I was going to do some yellow. I need to mix that in with some white. My white is getting kind of mixed in with the black there. And it kind of, all right. A little bit of yellow, that's good. I don't need too much more space filled, but that looks very nice. Mm. All right. Very nice, and those are kind of nicely blended in together too. Let me see if I can do a little bit more mixture here. Ah, oh, kind of looks like a banana color. A light banana color, more like a Laffy Taffy banana. All right, and now I'm going to put my black like silhouette of the hill because he was crucified on a hill called Golgotha, actually, um, which if you listened to my Eli video, you will see, um, I read a little story about Peter and what he experienced when Jesus was crucified. Um, kind of him being set in that uh, situation and experience. So I'm going to take just straight black on my paintbrush. I'm going to do the whole bottom as black, a black silhouette. And a silhouette is like the shadow of a place when the sun is reflecting behind it. There we go. Make sure it's nice and filled in. I might need more black paint. Ooh, look at that. So dark. Such a contrast to the bright colors at the top. Let's 
coming together nicely though for a period. I'm sure yours looks wonderful. Alright. Just more black in there. Alright. Almost done covering up the bottom here. And then that looks pretty good to me. I can do some touch-ups later. All right, so I have my black base at the bottom here. Oh, that's gonna bother me. Okay, now I need to draw Jesus's cross. So that is the shape of a T, which we know all so well. We are very familiar with that. So you have to be really gentle doing this, have a steady hand. Um, so let me just start here and I'll draw down. Okay, hi dad. And, oh, there we go. We have our nice line coming down. That was my dad who popped in there. He's always around and about. We're all here doing our work together, which is kind of fun. We have a new schedule. We know we set up a calendar and everything so we know when everyone's doing their Zoom calls. It's a way that we're trying to be adaptable in my family, you know, adapting to each other's schedules, making sure we have time to hang out with each other. So there's the main part of the cross, not the main part, but the plank that is standing upright. We're making sure it's nice and filled in. And then we will do a part going across as well. And make sure it's kind of the same, the same like um, size as the other one like width-wise. The length should be a little bit smaller. Oh, check it out. I'm using math vocabulary too as we do this. Oh, that looks so nice. All right. Now, all I'm going to do as I finish this up is I'm going to take my smaller paintbrush and I'm just going to go um, around the edges of my cross just to make sure it's nice and nice and straightened up along the edges. Paint along here. I think we're going to do some Stations of the Cross as well. You guys should definitely check out um, your, the Stations of the Cross I put on my website so that you can, um, you can watch those with your family. You can do them on your own. It's just such a nice way to reflect on what Jesus did for us before he was, well, while, when he was crucified and as he was making his way to the cross. It's such a beautiful story to remember the amazing love that Jesus showed for us on that day. All right, well, I think that looks pretty good. So fourth grade, look at that. You probably just made a beautiful masterpiece just as I feel I did. I would love if you shared it with me because um, I would love to be able to share it with my family and friends as well. You are all wonderful artists, so I'm sure you could come up with something even more beautiful. Feel free to experiment with some different colors. Um, and you could even add like two more crosses on the side here um, for the other two people who were uh, crucified with Jesus that day. Um, thank you so much for watching fourth grade. I hope you had fun. Um, you can leave comments, send me pictures, please. I would love to see them. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day.